Hello, today I will help you to find the reason why your scooter is not starting and in this video I will show you how. Ah! Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today I like to help you a little bit of finding a problem or troubleshooting your scooter to find the problem why your scooter is not starting. So, there is many, many little things that you have to understand and think when your scooter is not starting because uh, Scooter is a mechanical thing, so you have to analyze a mechanical motor and why it's not starting, because there can be a lot of little things. If you think your scooter runs with uh, fuel, runs with air, runs with uh, compression, runs with electricity, so there's a lot of little things that you have to think about. it. And sometimes if you're really missing one of those parts, uh, your scooter might not run. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to fix the problem and how to find the reason why your scooter is not running or not running right. And I will show you that to you right now. Now, 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 now. So, okay, let's try to find the reason why your scooter is not starting. With this chart, you're going to see many reasons. Now, when your scooter is not starting and you're trying to find why, you have to ask yourself a question and give yourself an answer. That's really important. Now the first thing that you're going to think is, uh, is if the fuel tank is empty. That's why could be one possibility why your scooter is not starting. So the first the question and what you should do is open the drain screw and check fuel flow to the carburetor right here. Okay, so this one is one of the most important thing. If that's the first thing you should think. If your scooter is not starting, you should check if you have uh, the fuel in the fuel tank. You know, if you have fuel, if you have gas, that's one of the first reason reason you should check. You know, now the fuel tube up to the fuel tank could be one reason that can be clogged, or the vacuum tube or the fuel can be clogged. Now, the first reason that you should ask yourself if you have fuel in the tank, if your scooter is not starting, that's really important. Now, the second one, you could ask see if one of the fuel tubes or the hose is clogged or is closed, you know, so, or even if it's bended, sometimes your scooter is not starting because it's not getting enough fuel. Now, after that, could be a possibility in your scooter that your float valve inside your carburetor is clogged or the, the petcock valve that brings the fuel to your carburetor could be clogged, could be gum up. You know, sometimes there is a, a lot of little hoses everywhere and the hose from the tank goes at the petcock valve and the petcock valve could be sticking or could be that that valve doesn't really open. So, because sometimes when it's too sticky and it's been stuck the scooter for a long time, that valve doesn't really open up a diaphragm and because it's sticking together and the fuel doesn't go through. That could be one possibility. So, the float valve clogged, that's another thing inside the carburetor. There is a little valve inside the carburetor. Sometimes there is a little rubber point in that valve that really gets stuck or the fuel valve could be clogged, okay? Now, there is another thing that can happen if your scooter is not starting right here. That's the fuel tank cap air hole is clogged. There is a little all in the cap of the fuel tank uh, that if that all is clogged at that point when the gas flow to the carburetor it creates inside your tank uh, the fuel tank will create kind of like a vacuum so at that point uh, that gas the fuel is in there with the vacuum system that is being created is not releasing the is not releasing the gas going through your carburetor, okay? So, another thing that can happen, fuel supply pipe frozen. This one doesn't really happen too often right here in Florida, but could happen, I think, in Canada. You know, sometimes, uh, if you go north, uh, the, really, the fuel doesn't really get too really uh, froze nowadays because there is so many things, so many chemicals inside. 
it doesn't really get froze but something can happen in the flow of the fuel of the gas from the tank to the pack or to the carburetor so you have to check that line okay now right here is a fuel strainer clog that is like uh, the fuel filter could be clogged because sometimes if you don't really run your scooter for a long time the fuel sits inside the filter and it becomes gluey and it becomes honey and it becomes sticky and at that point there is a possibility that your scooter is not starting because of the fuel is getting gummy gum up and at that point it doesn't let the fuel go through the filter so that could be one reason okay now if the fuel is supply so if all those things checks uh, right here if all those things are working right uh, that you check uh, you should go check the spark plug okay so that's something you could check right here if you have the fuel flow supply to your carburetor at that point your scooter is not starting because uh, there is a problem with the spark plug right here okay so it's something that you should check the spark plug spark plug is really important you know uh, the scooter works with many things it works with fuel it works with air it works with compression it works with spark plug that it gives the spark and there's electricity now if we have a weak or no spark at that point you, you have to check the spark plug if your scooter is not starting you could be having a faulty spark plug and faulty can be oily or can be uh, a bad spark plug it can be a contaminated spark plug right here i say and you can clean the spark plug but if it if it's contaminated or you have to clean the spark plug there is a reason why that spark plug is not working anymore okay now if you don't have a spark okay if you have a weak or no spark it could be the cdi a faulty cdi that is a little box uh, on the side of your motor or the scooter on the right side when you open up the seat you're gonna see the cdi okay that's a little unit that sometimes can it's possible that can go bad because it's an electrical part it's made of electricity so after a while there is a possibility that part could go bad okay so there's something you can have a faulty stutter or could be a faulty pickup because sometimes the pickup if if the pickup goes bad or burns out there is a problem you know you have the stator you have the magneto on right on the top you have the pickup so when the magneto goes around on the stator at that point it will give a little signal to the um, cdi to fire your spark plug okay and we'll tell them that's the time right time to fire your spark plug but sometimes the maybe this pickup goes bad and then you're going to have a problem so that's something you can change to you can buy online a different pickup or you can buy you know the, just the pickup sometimes they sell you the pickup and the stator but um, uh, if you can buy just the pickup it's just five six dollars seven dollar that is not really too expensive okay now if you have you have to check if you have wick or no spark sometime uh, the, the the wire that goes to the spark plug can be tired i say tired that can be uh, worn out they can be burned they can be is a tension cord that between the the coil and the spark plug that wire if you think it takes a lot of electricity every time you run the scooter it takes a lot of beating okay now in that wire there's a lot of voltage going through so after maybe 10,000 miles, uh, that wire could be burned inside or maybe cannot give a little more electricity to your scooter, so to your spark plug. So it's really important. Maybe you could change it every 10,000 miles. Uh, that's the part that costs maybe $10, 15 That is uh, the coil. There is the wire. There is spark plug boot. Uh, even the spark plug, every 3,000 to 5,000 miles, why not change it in a spark plug and have it? A good running scooter now 
Sometimes you could have the disconnected injection coil. Okay, so behind the behind the uh, the uh, coil, there is two wires right behind the coil. So those two wires, sometimes they're a little loose. In every scooter that I bought in my life and the GY6, those are two wires. They're never tight. There is two wires. They have two clips that go behind the coil. One usually is green, one is white, or one is yellow. Sometimes they change color, but for sure you have one negative, one positive. And those two wires, they're not. The clips are never really tight. So if you have a little time, just tight those little connection a little bit with a, with a nose plier or some kind of plier, just tie them up a little bit because that's a connection that goes from your CDI, goes to your coil and then it's gonna bring electricity to your spark plug. If that part is not really working perfectly, it doesn't connect perfectly to your electrical system, you're not going to have a great running scooter, especially at the high high speed because when you go at a higher speed or when you go at full speed with your scooter your scooter really needs to be perfect to give you a perfect performance of running scooter okay so you really need to make sure that all the connections are right or the all the fuel lines are right so this thing all these mm, questions that, that this page will give you she will give you an idea how to find the problem okay so the first win is first thing is to check the fuel if you're getting fuel to your motor or to your scooter to your carburetor you have to check that if your scooter is not starting it's very important to check uh, all these things right here so if you wish you can stop the video just look at this and these six reasons you need to check before you make sure that your scooter is starting. But if you're getting fuel, and if fuel is supplied to your carburetor right here, you can go down here and you can check your spark plug, okay? Now, your spark plug could be a weak or you could have no spark. You know, if you have no spark, check all those things to make sure that your scooter has spark later. Or if you already have a spark, at that point we can go right here and we're going to get, go down and if you have a good spark, you can check other things, okay? It's very important to check many, many things why your scooter is not starting. Finding the reason why your scooter is not starting will help you to start your scooter at the beginning. Then later you can see if your scooter is performing perfectly at a high performance at a high speed okay so let's try to see other reason right here that could be possible right here and you can have uh, test the cylinder pressure that's another thing that you really need to know if your scooter is uh, has enough pressure or compression because uh, your scooter will need fuel spark compression hair to start the motor okay now many times it could be just by checking the the valves if they have the right space and if they close the right way and there you have enough clearance or good clearance at the valves uh, and you can adjust the valves that's something really important but if you don't have uh, you have a low if you have a low pressure compression on your motor right here you really have to check uh, right here the piston ring piston ring sometimes it can go bad because piston goes up and down in the motor many many times so after maybe 15,000 miles, 20,000 miles, maybe the piston rings uh, are not sealing anymore the chamber of the scooter. So you, at that point you really need to uh, maybe change the rings or you can change the piston or maybe it's a good chance for you to place a big bore kit and have a, a larger uh, 
piston with a larger cylinder with a better size with better piston rings uh, you know so there is many reasons why sometimes you don't have the right compression or inside your uh, your system your your scooter you know now right here the piston could be rings could be worn okay maybe they're getting older another thing right here the cylinder or cylinder head is cracked could be that this if you don't have enough compression inside the scooter inside the motor when you do a pre compression test i have a video on my channel if you like just search for compression test for your gy6 scooter so you will find a way how to do a compression test unfortunately you need to buy something that is a tool to make a compression test you know unfortunately with that tool you need to spend a little more money to have a better tool to have a better toy that is going to tell you the right reading you know of compression on your scooter because sometimes if you buy a, a low cost or a cheap tool to let you know how much compression in your scooter will not give you the right reading so if you have the right reading you do not really understand what's the right compression on your motor now it could be that you don't have compressor because you have a crankcase air leak. You can have an air leak, okay? Maybe from a gasket, maybe from something that is let air in or air out from the chamber of compression, right there, of, of your scooter. So where is the piston and the cylinder? So you need to have compression. Now, could be the cylinder head gasket is damaged, you know? could be many things but by doing if you're doing a compression test with your scooter with your gy6 scooter that will help you a lot to understand if your scooter has a problem with the compression but maybe at this time you already check the fuel you check the spark if you already have a spark and you can you're checking if you have a compression okay those are three really important things with your scooter after this we're going to something that is really important right here. The start engine following procedure. Engine start but stop immediately. So many times if your uh, scooter start but and after that is uh, stopping right away, there is another reason that could be a problem. And sometimes you can recognize that by having a right here that is a manifold air leak. Sometimes when you have a leak um, and you try to start your scooter and your scooter goes like, it's, you know, kind of stops right away after a few seconds, you could have manifold air leak uh, or you can have an injection timing that is wrong. Injection time is sometimes it could be the wrong time the spark plug is firing. Could be for a losing pickup coil that is, uh, you know, sometimes there is two screws that hold the little pickup that is next to the magneto, and sometimes they get loose from vibration and the little pickup moves just uh, f just ten thousand of an inch. You know, sometimes it's just not perfect the right way, and uh, sometimes the timing is not right so that's sometimes why you try to start your scooter and your scooter really doesn't want to start okay it doesn't stay on okay or sometimes you just turn in the throttle on your scooter and you have a problem because it, your scooter start but as soon as you turn the throttle your scooter dies that means that is your main jet okay main jet is dirty because you open up the throttle when you are an idle, you have the pilot jet that is taking care of business. As soon as you turn your throttle on your scooter, at that point, your main jet will start to work on it. But sometimes it could be even the needle, the needle that is inside the main jet that is not raising. But that could be another possibility. But if the engine will not start right here, if your engine will not start, you could have another problem, you know? 
Because sometimes the, the engine starts and sometimes it doesn't start right away. But if it does, if it starts and die right away, there could be a manifold air leak. That's the rubber part in front of your carburetor. That's something that sometimes happens because the manifold is really in front of your carburetor, and uh, being in front of a carburetor is kind of like the suspension of your carburetor. So being the suspension of your carburetor. It always bends up and down, so bending up and down will give to the uh, rubber manifold that is in front of the car a little more stress every time, okay? So sooner or later, the little part uh, of the manifold will break, you know, from the heat or from the carburetor going up and down. Now, if uh, the engine will not start at all, right here, that point we have to go down right here and you have to remove the spark plug you know and uh, right here remove the spark plug and you the plug could be wet okay if the plug is wet there is a you know sign that your carburetor could be flooded Okay, carburetor, too much fuel in the carburetor. How do you fix that? If your carburetor bring too much gas, at the point you have to release that gas somehow from your, you know, the chamber of, of the motor, okay? So you just uh, remove the spark plug. At that point, uh, what you're gonna do, you're going to place the spark plug away and the connection of the spark plug boot away from the from the hole of the spark plug at that point you're going to try to start the scooter so the movement of the piston in and out inside okay is going to bring all the extra fuel from the chamber of the scooter inside the, the motor okay so it's going to bring the extra fuel because the scooter really need to have the right amount of fuel that cannot have too much fuel you know so if you put too much fuel or less fuel there those two things are bad has to be in the middle has to be the right part of fuel and air to have the right combustion the right you have the right explosion in your scooter another uh, things is a faulty control box uh, that something can happen on the the when you remove the spark plug you could have a dry spark plug if you have a dry spark plug that's another thing too that means you don't have enough fuel going inside your chamber okay now sometime the throttle could be too open okay so the flap and could bring too much the butterfly could bring too much fuel to your motor so there is a little adjustment that you have to do left and right okay with your scooter so if you have the right adjustment if you have the right thing down to your scooter the right pilot jet the right you know the right main jet all the right things uh, with these schematics with all those questions right here you're going to find the reason why your scooter is not starting okay now when your scooter starts at that point you can analyze is your scooter running good or not if it's running at a good performance because sometimes the scooter can start but when you turn your throttle the scooter will not start perfectly or will not run at high performance perfectly so that could be another reason maybe the tank of the fuel tank is dirty maybe if the fuel is not going down to the carburetor fast enough uh, there is a lot of things that can happen you know i hope uh, i help you a little bit with this video to find the reason why your scooter is not starting to try to troubleshoot the scooter to make your scooter start if you have any question feel free to ask please click the like to my video if you like and uh, Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great day.
Thank you.